Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today, we're going to play some Sudoku in this video. So just, just Sudoku. No escape room, no other weird and wonderful hybrid. We're just going to play Sudoku. And in particular, we're going to play Killer Sudoku. I've been playing Killer Sudoku on this app for a couple of weeks now. And um, it was Alfie 5 who pointed me in the direction of this app. And previously, the only Killer Sudoku I really played was on my Puzzle app, which is on a 6x6 grid. This is on a traditional 9x9. So I was struggling how to disambiguate some of the cages. Like, And I, I said to Alfie, I said, how do you do it? And um, Alfie was kind enough to share some um, interesting information um, about applying like math theory uh, and number theory to the actual boxes and the rows, you know, even collection of boxes. Ever since then, it's like Killer Sudoku has just clicked. So I thought I'd do one on camera, just to sort of showcase my process through it. And uh, fingers crossed that uh, everything goes um, pretty pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's let's jump into this. So first of all, um, with this app, there is sometimes some cells which are uh, single digits. So I can see a couple down this side here. We've got a one there and a three there. I normally sort of look for single digits, um, a cage of two where there is 16 or a cage of two where there is 17, because I know from playing other number puzzles as well that the 17 is an 8-9 pair and a 16 has to be a 7-9 pair. So we can like pencil mark those in and um, hopefully that sort of helps us along the way. There's nothing else at the minute that's really jumping out of me so far i'm looking to see if there's any fours because that would be a one or a three they're not there there's a six there but there's two combinations that there it could be there is one thing interesting and this it's it's weird to say but this sort of branches on and this is basically what i was talking about what alfie showed me earlier on this week so we take a look at the um left hand column here uh, the far left hand column all of the cages except one digit are um, all contained within that row. Nothing's branch uh, in that column. Nothing's branching out into the um, into column number two. So, what we can do is we can add up the twenty-one, the ten, and the eight, which gives us thirty-nine. Therefore, we know this has to be a five. Sorry, it doesn't five. It's a six. Bad math. All right, so that's a six, and then that instantly becomes the eight because then that has to finish the cage off so we can also apply the same logic looking at it to the right hand column so column number nine so again we'll add these up 15 and 18 is 23 24 27 27 and 9 is 36 that means this bottom digit here has to be a nine now what does that tell us though so we've got this 17 that we pencil marked here so we can fill that in because now that can't be a nine so we know that that's an eight nine pair so yeah just like that um, we're already sort of up and running, which is which is really, really good. I feel like there's something at the top row, though, because when I look at the top row, we've got... There's two digits in total which are outside of the grid. What I can tell... It's a real shame. I just have to use a pencil mark here. So this, this cell here, I want to put in these ones, those two will have to be the same. No, they won't be the same because we're in the same box. Ignore that. So just looking at the top again, 15. How many ways can we make 15? Well, I think there's only one way left to make 15 with two digits. That is with a 7, 8. Pretty sure there's no other way because we've already used a 9 at the bottom. Okay. So then carrying on down that road, can we fill out any of these other digits? We've got an 8 and 9. So both of these columns here will need to add up. These cages, sorry, will need to add up to 17. And we know we can't make... Let's look at the 9. We can't make a 9 with a anything that uses an eight seven one or three so that leaves us with a four and a five this has to be a four and a five and then we can apply logic to say that this has to be a six and two oh, change the cell knock so we can't take that any further at the minute i don't think but i'm still drawn to this i'm still drawn to this top here so let's think about this we got 14 and 14 is 28. So the top row, row one, columns seven, eight, nine, they have to add up to, um, let's say, 28, 
45 minus 28 is 7. 17. So how can we make 17 out of three digits? Well, we know it's not going to be 8 and 9. You know a 9 has to go in here because it can't go in 7 because 9 is less than 7. So this is going to be a 9 and 1. So we make 10 here. And then with here, assume my mass is correct, I'm just going to add this up again. 28, 45 takes out is 17. Okay, so 17, this should be 7, because we're making the 10 in the 1 and the 5. Which means that's an 8. Okay, things are starting to move. So what else can we do here? Let's have a look. There are these two cells here, but I don't think we can actually do anything with those two at the moment. All that we know is it can't be a 6 and a 2, but it could be a 1, 7. 1, 7. Or a 5 and 3. We can't disambiguate any more from there. We know that these bottom 6 in this cage, in, in this block, however, add up to 23. And we still need to find 22. Now I do know that 23 is achieved with a nine eight and a six that's the only three numbers that can make a um 23 sorry no that makes no eight sorry nine eight nine seven would give us 24 so eight nine six would give us 23 okay check my logic there i want 22 do eight nine five are there any other combinations other than nine eight and five that we could use to make that so if we drop the nine and had seven eight seven eight is 15 no okay so this has to be 17 and five i think so the five there that can't be an eight if the five's at the top this has to be a four excellent almost finished that first column Let's look again what do we got here 11 13 just trying to find somewhere where we can buy some logic here we know that's not going to be a five take out that oh, I'm on the wrong mode sorry can't be a five the reason that can't be a five is because we only have one five to use so that has then in turn becomes a one or a two what else have we got left on the top five eight nine have to go there it's got one two three one two three six seven we know one can't go in there or there. So a one has to go there, there, or there. Really sure that helps. We should readdress the top. We've got in that top row, we've got two, three, two, three, and a four and a five. So we know that the two and the five will go together and the four and the three will go together because that's the only two ways we can make seven out of those two numbers. We've also missed here, actually, this is interesting. We've missed this. We know this is a five based on the fact that uh, we've got one and nine at the top. So one plus nine is 10, 15 minus 10 is five. So we can apply that there. Just sort of, I apologize for like jumping around a lot at the minute. I'm just sort of like trying to find areas that I can like pick up on something. Okay, 21, can we make 21 any other way than eight, nine, and four? I think uh, we could do seven, eight, and six. Well, we know it's not six. We can't use a six. Six, seven, eight, 15. Okay, this I think has to be nine, eight, and four. Because there's only two ways I think to make 21 with three numbers and that's uh, four, eight, nine, and 786. If that's true, that means this has got to be a 5 because the 8 and 9 have to sit in though in that 21 block. So this has to be a 5. This has to be a 9 because it's restricted by the 8 and that has to be the 8. That gives us a 2 here and that will give us a 1 there. That was pretty successful, wasn't it? Um okay, moving on. So we need to make 4 here. Well, I know that, sorry, no, not four or five. Sorry, ignore that. Ignore that. I was getting excited. We know it can't be four and one, so this has got to be three and two. So three there and a two there. So that leaves us with a one, seven here. Can't disambiguate that at the moment, but we'll keep that pencil marked in there. 
So, okay, so I know an eight's got to go here. So the reason an eight has got to go here is because we it has to go either here or here. If we were to put an eight here, that would leave us three in the rest of the cell. The only way to make three is with a one and two out of two cells. And we've already got the one of the two in here and here, so we can't place that there. So we know that has to be an eight. So we can finish this off with a one right there. Now we know we have the one there and a seven there to finish off that pairing. What else? Okay, we see an eight goes here because that's restricted by Sudoku by that cell and that cell. One, two, three, three, six, seven. We know that can't be a seven because this three here blocks that from being a 10. So that can't be seven. That can't be seven because we've got a four there, so we can't make 11. So that becomes a seven. Oh, we done made a mistake. Ah, okay, let's take a look at this and see what um, we did wrong. So clearly it's not a seven. So the seven has to go either there or there. Oh, okay, I tell you what, I this is, this is where I've missed interpreted what we've got here the information I, I won't fill this in until we can actually disambiguate it but i said we can't do a seven or a four there but i could place the seven there and the four in the next cell okay so seven can't go there we know we know that seven where's that i know where the seven goes but i'm not going to put it in until i can prove it out i don't think that's um it's not fair to just put that in that's got to be a six and then we've also got a three which can go in and cells here now we can eliminate the three from the 13 because we can't make 13 with a three with two digits so we know the three is not going to go there so if three went there that would be seven if a six goes in the bottom that would be a four so we'll go here seven that would be a four five well that can't be a five so we know a six doesn't go there and three would make an eight yeah, okay. We know an eight's got to go there or there based on that cell and that cell. But definitely got a three in here. We've got a three in this top row here. Let's try and apply that. We've got four, five, we've got uh, nine, 18, 27, plus the three is 30. So saying that it was a three, we then need to make 15 out of these numbers here. So we need to make 15 out of three, six, seven. We can't make it out of three, six, seven. I, I don't know how that's going to help me though, if I'm honest. Yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going with that, that train of thought. So I think I'm just going to can that right there. And then we do know that's seven and six. We do know that a five has to sit here. So if a five has got to go at the bottom, that would make that four. Okay, look at this cell here. We've got to make 17 here. So we know that's got to be seven, uh, sorry, not seven, eight an eight nine pair the only two digits that can make that so that disambiguates that as a four four and seven seven and three six and seven and then here we've got a two and a two and a six two and six is eight so this has to be a three okay which means that's a five that's a four Six and three, didn't I? Yes, yeah, six and three. No, not six and three. So it can't be six and three. It'll be six and two. Because you can't have the same digit repeat in a, in a, in a cage. So yeah, that's fine. Um, so two, six, and two, three, six. Three, six. I've already got the three there. So that's two, six. Am I missing number here? Two, six, four. Okay, so we know the four's got to go there. We know the four and the three's got to go there, so we've got to make eight. Four and three. Yeah, okay, we, we can't do anything with that. That's fine. I just thought I'd like look into that to see whether or not we could actually disambiguate that further, but we can't at the moment. So, all right, moving on. Moving on. That has to be an eight because it's the only place left by Sudoku that an eight can go which means we need to make seven either side of this. We can't make seven with a one because the one's already there. We can't make it with a three. Therefore, it's got to be a two and a five in these cells here. One, two, three. We've got a four, six. Well, this has to be a six. 
And the reason that has to be a six is it can't be a four. It can't be a one because of this number here. It can't be a two because of that number there. It can't be a three. It can be a four. It could be it can't be a five because of that number here. Actually, it could be a six or a thing about this six or four it's gonna be six and one because the threes here is blocking here that's going to be a six that's going to be a one the only two possible combinations for that cage was a one six and a three and a four but the row six here blocks the three and the four from going in there so we know for instance we cannot put a three and four in this cage here because of that blocking so we know a six has to go at the top in here so a six is going to be used here six and nine is 15 so this now becomes a five six pair here which we could have we could have identified that uh, a little bit earlier if, if we'd have paid more attention that becomes one up the top one has to go at the top can we do anything more five no i don't think we can do any more at the minute Let's look at this middle the middle row row five a little bit in more detail four five and no four seven nine that's gonna be four or seven be four seven nine come back to that momentarily because i already know what combination that is and that could be seven or nine okay so what can we make 13 the only way to make 13 is with a nine and a four therefore uh four goes there nine goes there seven goes there this then makes this top pairing a one and seven, which again, we can already identify. The seven is here because we cannot place a seven in a six cage. That becomes a one. This becomes a five. That becomes a two. That becomes a five. Here, I know for a fact, it's gotta be a one, two pair because it's the only way to make three in two digits. And I'm just looking down my pencil marks. I can see the bottom row now. We, we can do something in this bottom row. We can probably, I don't think we can disambiguate the row, but this is now the only place the four can go in that column and that row. We know also this is a one or two. Therefore, a two cannot sit in here. So that has to be a six. That has to be a three. That has to be a two, six, and two. Excellent. Okay. We are getting there. Two could still be there or there. Got seven, take away 23 is 16. We need to make 16 with three digits. Not quite sure at the minute, but uh, we've got this. We missed this actually. We can place a nine and a one in here to get rid of that. So, what have we got in the top? We've got 15 and 15. We've got 30. So, we need to make 15 from four digits. Uh, to make 15 from four digits, well, we know what the digits are. I don't know why I'm trying to do math there. I don't need to. I can easily say that it's a two, a three, a four, and a six. So threes can't go in the middle. This is the only place three can go. Two, six, four. We know a four's got to go in here, which means the remaining candidates have to add up to eight. So if we did four and two, can we place a six here? Yes. And we know a six has got to go into the top. What if we did it the other way around? If we place a six in here, so we had a four six here, can we place a two here? Yeah, we can. Two, six. Yeah, okay, so we, we can't disambiguate that at the minute. That's fine. Um, let's just make a note that it's a four two six triple. Four has to go there. That becomes a two six pair. That leaves us with. So we've missed something that we can place a three. Three, a four. got to be the three that's got to be the three and four of which that's the three and that's the four i will come back to it in a moment we can look down column seven here and we can see clearly that the only number we are missing from here is a nine so we can place a nine here which leaves with a four and three here well we've already got a, a four in this column here for example so this has to be a three that has to be a four okay let's let's scan up and down i'm going to take a look at this uh column here because we're only three three numbers missing from here and they have to be a three Four, three, four, seven. I was on the wrong markings. I hate it when that happens. It's quite annoying because I tend to make such like silly mistakes and it's very frustrating when I make mistakes. Anyway, moving on. 
This has to be three, four. And the reason it has to be a three and a four is because we've got three, four, seven left and a seven cannot go in here because a seven cannot go in a cage where you need the total output to be seven. So that's three, four there. This has to be four, seven, which then on the other side means that has to be an eight or a five. Well, we already have an eight in that column. So we can place a five there and a seven there. That means this is four or three. Press switch to pencils. Four and three. Okay. That's going to be a six or a seven. It's going to be a seven because we've already got a six in that cage. Sorry, not in that cage, in that block. Um, so that becomes a three. That becomes a four. That becomes a three. We're starting to wind it down now. Uh, we've got a two, five, which is five and two like that. We've got, so we can't do anything there. We've got a five and six. We can unwind there. One and two, four and nine. Can't do anything with those. Uh, how are we going to make this 10? One. Be a one. Yeah, it's going to be a one nine because if we were to place a one in there, we would have to make 13 with one remaining number. We've obviously, nine is our maximum. So we can't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six and eight. Eight and six. And now this should allow us to unwind the rest of our pencil numbers just like this. Overconfidence, man. Seriously, what? I, I, it's just fat finger syndrome. It's, I swear down, it's fat fin, finger syndrome. I'm confident, like what I've got to put in. And there we go. There we go. Twenty six minutes, twenty seven seconds for this expert puzzle, and we solved it faster than fifty three percent of the players, apparently. And um, yeah, so let me know, guys, if you enjoy this. I'm probably going to play some more Sudoku on the channel. So um, yeah. Look forward to seeing even more from me real soon. Like I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know whether you enjoy playing Sudoku, whether you like playing variants, what variants you like playing, and um, if you've got any like tips or strategies that you could offer up, then uh, I'm all ears. Uh, anything to improve my game, really, I would be happy to hear. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I've been Nock. So stay safe, take care.